Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we have a pretty special review. These are the new Gen's Ace Bashing Series LiPo batteries. And I've had the pleasure to have these here at the network for a good couple of months here, just testing them out, testing them in different ARMA vehicles and just seeing how they perform overall. Now, sometimes doing battery reviews can be very subjective. It's up to the person on the driver's stand or in the bash spot, pulling the trigger to tell you if the battery battery is really good. But in this video, we're going to be telling you exactly how these performed in two different ARMA vehicles that I've tested them in. Now, in this video, you should expect to learn exactly which vehicles these particular batteries fit in, what their specs are, what connectors they come with, how they perform, including some run times, and my overall thoughts on this new lineup from Genzace making these batteries even more armor ready. They each come with an EC5 connector, making this truly a plug and play battery. Now I have installed an XT90 here on these 3S packs. I have a different system running in my Mojave, which required a different connector. But for all of your systems that are running either Spectrum or the Arma branded electronics, EC5 is the ticket and these batteries come with it. Other cool features about these batteries, they have a PC finish or polycarbonate. So they're not quite a hard case, not quite a soft case, kind of like an in-between. They're definitely squared off here on the actual corners, and they have this nice little dust protection right here, this kind of seal going into the battery here where your wire's coming out. So a little less dust and everything will get inside of there. Starting with the smallest of the bunch, the 8000 milliamp 3S LiPo. Now this particular battery pack measures in at 157 millimeters long, 45 millimeters wide, and 34 millimeters millimeters tall. The scale at my house weighted in at 512 grams. Other specs, this is a 3S 1P LiPo, 88.8 watt hours, and it has a 100C discharge rate. That is a constant discharge rate with a max burst of 200C. The most versatile of the bunch, the 8000 milliamp, will fit in every 6S vehicle. Pairing two of these, of course, stacked on top of each other in the Typhon, the Talion, Creighton, Outcast, Notorious, and Mojave. Two of these also will fit in the Infraction, Felony, and Limitless in their saddle pack configuration. And finally, one of these batteries will fit perfectly in the Arma 3S lineup, including the Big Rock, Creighton, Sentin, Granite, and Outcast. Moving on to the 15,000 milliamp 3S LiPo, this is a 3S 2P pack, is 166.5 watt hours, and has a 100C constant discharge rate with a 200C burst. Size-wise, this thing measures in at 178 millimeters long, 51 millimeters wide, and 52 millimeters tall. Weighing in on my scale, weighs in at 980 grams. Now, this battery pack was designed specifically for the saddle pack design 6S vehicles from Arma, including the Infraction, the Felon, and the Limitless. Finally, the 11,000 milliamp 4S LiPo. This is a 4S 2P pack, 162.8 watt hours, has a 100C discharge rate constant and a 200C burst. This pack measures in at 178 millimeters long, 51 millimeters wide, and 51 millimeters tall. On my scale, it weighs in at 965 grams. Now these packs were designed specifically for Arma's 8S LiPo including the Outcast and the Creighton. Now I was able to test out these 15,000 milliamp batteries in my Arma Infraction version two with the little handbrake feature. Now I've got to say, strapping these two into the saddle pack configuration definitely weighs down the truck. I mean, you're strapping in four pounds of battery into this truck. So I just did the shock collars just a little bit just to account for the added weight. Now the overall performance of these batteries is off the charts. First off power, you have a ton ton of power, of course, 6S LiPo, but with that 100C discharge rate, it is draining those batteries very rapidly, so you can definitely feel that it has a lot of power at the throttle. I didn't see any fading of these batteries. Of course, these are 15,000 milliamps, so I only got these things down to about storage charge, and I was dead tired of driving. Now, the funny thing about these batteries is that they're 15,000 milliamps, so prepare yourself, especially if you're driving 
doing the infraction or the felony, you're gonna have to do a tire change while you're running these batteries. These things last so long, they're gonna outlast the tires on your truck. Moving on to the 8,000 milliamp, I tested these out in my Arma Mojave EXP. That's the one where you have to install your own electronics. And I chose a hobby wing system for that and just installed some XT90 connectors. With that, I did swap out the connectors on these bashing series batteries to the XT90. I just didn't have any EC5s available here at the shop. Now with that, strapping these things into pretty much all of these 6S vehicles that run that stackable battery tray these things fit in perfect. You have about an eighth of an inch at the very top of extra room. Otherwise, you're taking up every space of that 6S tray. Now, I was running this with a Max 6 combo. It's a 1650 kV motor. And of course, the Mojave is quite a heavy vehicle, weighing in close to 20 pounds. Now, these bashing batteries had no issue moving that 20 pounds around my local bash spot. I felt like I had tons of power, even with that low KV motor. I was able to really scoot this Mojave around the track, kicking up roofs, jumping with plenty of power, and throttle-wise, it felt like I had a ton of power. Now, drive time, once again, 8,000 milliamps is a lot, and I honestly got tired. I had everything filmed that I wanted to film on the Mojave, showcasing that vehicle in its running review. And as I got back to the truck, I just threw on a little lipo checker, and I was down to storage voltage, so I still had plenty of runtime. If I had to estimate these batteries, you're probably going to be able to run for a good 40-45 minutes depending on your throttle control. Overall, I don't think you can go wrong with these. You have a great company of Gen Zace backing these things. You have some great specs. I mean, you, you have runtime for days. You have plenty power with the 100C discharge. You have a compatible connector with all of the Arma vehicles and you'll likely worry less about changing a battery or your battery going dead in the middle of a fun bash session. Well guys, that's my full review of the Arma bashing lipos, but as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Is this something that you would invest in for your Arma vehicle? Put that down in the comment section. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.